Welcome to the Square Takeoff How-To Video Series. In today's video, we're going to cover how to complete a drywall estimate within the software. Let's get started. To start your drywall estimate, you're going to first need to upload your plans and then set your scale correctly for those plans. Once that's done, we can go ahead and head to that plan. From anything here, we can go ahead and look at calculating the exterior drywall needed for these walls. Let's go ahead and select our templates and select our drywall assembly starter package. Underneath here, we can also go ahead and select the wall height. And for this, let's go ahead and select a foot wall. Let's go ahead and select a four by 10 half inch drywall. From here, we're gonna hit the play button. We're now gonna go ahead and adjust any items as needed. Let's go ahead and hit start. And lastly, let's look at the items here that we're gonna calculate. From here, we can see we're gonna calculate the total half inch four by 10 drywall. We're gonna also do the number of wall sides, which we're doing exterior, so simply apply one wall side. We can also enter a cost and a location. For this location, let's go ahead and say this is part of the first floor. Exterior wall. And we'll copy that and use that within our joint tape and joint compound. Let's go ahead and hit update. And there we go. Now we can continue on down through here, once again, adjusting anything like wall heights or waste percentages. Uh, within the joint tape, we're gonna go ahead and select this here, and we'll go ahead and update the location here. And then lastly, we're gonna go ahead and check our joint compound. For this, we're gonna use a general purpose joint compound, which covers 850 square feet. If it was a different compound, we can adjust this accordingly. Once again, we're gonna update our location and hit update. From here, we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Now it's just as simple as going along here, and clicking around the inside of these plans. And there we go. Now, if we wanted to repeat this step and do the interior drywall for the ceilings, we can also do that here by selecting the ceiling drywall. From here, once again, we can select our size. Let's say, for example, we want to use a half inch four by eight ceiling drywall. From here, we'll go ahead and select this. We'll go ahead and hit start. And lastly, once again, we'll go ahead and enter our value. So this one here, we're gonna say that this is part of the first floor ceiling. Once again, we'll copy this. We can add this to our other items. For this, once again, we can determine how many layers. We can also determine a cost, a pitch if we're deal dealing with faulted ceilings. And once again, the sheet width, the waste. We're gonna continue on down through here and do like we did on a previous one. And we're gonna select the locations and go ahead and update those. When ready, let's go ahead and hit start and save. There we go. Now all we need to do is simply click around the roof area or ceiling area that will be calculated. There we go. Now we've calculated out the ceiling drywall and also the exterior wall drywall. From here, we can see those totals by simply clicking on the estimate button. Once I select this, I can expand these items and see that we had a total of 49 sheets for the exterior wall. We had two uh, rolls of joint uh, joint tape and three buckets, five gallon buckets of joint compound. Once again, we have 82 sheets of four by eight half inch drywall for the ceiling, three rolls of joint tape, and then seven buckets of joint compound. Once again, because we entered a, a field such as the location, we can also separate this data by location. And once again, we can see that within our ceiling, we have these items and within our exterior wall, we have these items. And that's it. That's how to estimate drywall using square takeoff. Thank you for watching today's video.